Welcome guys. So this video is basically uh, another uh, important problems in the probability theories that people like to like to ask called the gamblers rule. Okay, so a uh, player m m1 has 1 and the player s s m2 uh, n s2 is $2, right? Each player give one of the players $1 from the other. So player m is enough to uh, enough better than player n that he wins 2 thirds of the pay. So that means uh player m uh, has probability two thirds to win the place. The place on tier one bank rock. What is the chance that player M wins? Okay. So you can uh, think carefully, and uh, once you are ready, then you can see the answer. Okay. So before we do that, uh, uh, remember that in the uh, uh, last video, in the, in the last videos, we proved that the clip handler basically have one cl uh, one drunk man, and uh, he at one. At the zero is a cliff. Then we prove that uh, if he have the left, if the if he go left has probability p, and he go right has probability one minus p. Then the probability he uh he go to zero basically is he dead. The probability is just p over one minus p. If p is less than 0.5, then the p larger than 0.5, the answer is one. Okay, so this is the previous uh, videos that uh. Our previous result, uh, basically, uh, you can remember it. Okay, so now uh, we can use this to prove, to uh, show this. Basically, this is exactly the same as this gamble problem. Okay, so the key is to, the key is how to translate. How to translate the gamblers, gamblers ruin problems. Uh, to uh, cliff panel. So uh, the key is how to translate. Uh, uh make a like a so-called reduction in a maybe in computer science people so a reduction. So how to change uh how to change the problem uh the theory uh the, the first question to the second. Okay, so here uh here uh here let me uh try to uh. Okay, so okay, so let me explain it. So. This is zero. Uh, okay, so how about we see the uh, m's money? So m's money is zero uh, or one or two. So in 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 this case, uh, the total the largest is n. Okay, but uh, we uh so we can solve the general. Suppose m has m dollars and the n has n dollars. So the beginning points m has m dollars, so you can view there's a drunk man, and uh, the total is m plus n. So, so here is the we is the winning point, and uh, this is the bankrupt point. So basically, uh, one can view this problem have it is is exactly the same as claim painters, but the problem is that you have two, a uh, different kind of threshold one is the bankrupt one is the winning right because if you already got m plus n money then the game is over the game is over okay uh suppose you have the left to go p then this is the winning problem uh, uh okay so let me change uh so this is one minus p so p is the win the, the probability m wins in each game so if m wins then this money will be m plus one so uh, this is p so we have a p uh, go left, uh, go right, and uh, one minus p go left. So the notation is different from the Chris Hammer, but it's very easy that you just change p to one minus p. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So uh, so now uh, we can get an answer. Mm, okay. So uh, so suppose. Uh, m loses the probability uh, the probability of m lose is q okay then uh, what we have is what what we have oh by the way i let q equals to one minus p so let me plot the uh, so you start from m and it goes zero and you go this is m plus n so the drunk man q p one minus p the q one minus p okay so what it has if what it, it has is the total probability 
Okay, so so the probability uh, so the Q divided by P to M. So this means what? Uh, this means that uh, uh, this means it this means it go drunk, go drunk. Yeah, it, it, I mean it, uh, this means it go to this cliff. So remember the the remember the cliff is always P divided by one minus P. So in this case it's Q divided by it's P divided by, by Q. But uh, in our notation the P Q is uh, changes. So this Q divided by P is M. This means that uh, M lose. Basically, this is equals to Q. So one component is Q, but one is one minus Q. So this means M uh, wins, right? One minus Q means M wins. But uh, it, but at what case M will wins? The case M will wins is basically the player M reaches this one, right? The player M reaches this one. So uh, the player M reaches this one has probability Q divided by P M plus M. So this is the previous cliff tenors. This is also cliff tenors, but we just choose ch use the two uh, cliff tenors result to get a to get an answer. Okay, so we can solve uh, solve Q. And uh, the P is I denoted a large P is one minus Q. So this means the uh, M win, M win. Okay. So once we solve it, we can get the large P is one minus uh, Q divided by P, M plus M power divided by one Q minus P. Right. Oh, so this is this is the answer. Okay. Okay. So uh, now we can uh, plug the formula that uh, when P is two thirds. So p small p means that the m can win two thirds again, and the q is this, and the m has one dollars, and the m has two dollars. Then we can plug in. Now we can compute the p is uh, four over seven, four over seven. Okay, so this tells us that uh, the m still all of m and only has and only has a uh, half money as n, but the uh, m still has can win. Okay. Okay, and the uh, so one one important uh uh so this is the formula. Let me write again. Okay. So the one uh so one uh ex uh one extreme case is if Q equals to P, right? It's going to be half. Then you then there's the answer is zero divided by zero. But you can take a limit. So we take a limit. We just take a log. And then you can prove that the limit is just this. And then this is also very common that uh, this is like common sense because when you have a your probability wins, that means you have more money, then you have more money to win. Okay, so uh, this is the answer. Okay, and I think it's enough for this video because, uh, okay, so this video, uh, what we have proved is that uh, we can change this uh, gambler's ruin problems into the caliph's hammer. Uh, so the important key point is this equation. This equation. Oh, is this equation okay? So, uh, let me explain this equation again. Is that uh, so? So, this, e uh, this equation means m is uh, basically uh, go left or go right. And when so m has total probability to go p q divided by p to the power m, then it go bankrupt. And uh, and uh, but but there's a still chance that the m m could win. So, the probability for m could win is just q divided by p. Uh, to m plus m. Uh, why this is this? Uh, this means that uh, uh, <coughs> uh, that is equivalent to the infinite bank winning without player m ever reaching m plus m. Uh, so this is a key point that. Uh, so this turns is is really a key point. This turn. Uh, this turn is really a key point that. Uh, uh, once you understand this term, the meaning of this term, then you can you can you can get an answer. Okay, I think it's enough for today, and uh, uh, basically be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.